buying a car out of state. Seven things you need to know if you're considering an out-of-state purchase. Hello, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here with the amazing Elizabeth with the amazing long hair. If you're thinking about buying a car in another state, you need to make sure you understand everything involved in an out-of-state purchase, including the risks. You may be considering this because you're looking for a very specific model that's not available locally or you're trying to save some money. For those of you whose primary goal is to save money, pay special attention here. You need to be aware that you can incur additional costs, significant risk, and even a court battle without careful planning. More on that later. Number one, get a vehicle history report. Obtaining a vehicle history report like Carfax or AutoCheck is an important step with this kind of purchase. The report can provide information about red flags that would keep you from buying the car. For example, if the car has liens, these should be satisfied before you try to transport the vehicle back to your home state, or you may be financially responsible for paying these liens off, even if they're not yours. Number two, have an inspection. Having a thorough mechanical inspection is always important, but especially when buying a used car out of state. Use an independent repair shop rather than anyone who is recommended or employed by the dealership. Find a repair shop that is relatively close to where the car is without being on the same corner <laughs> so they don't know each other too well. Number three, paying sales tax. Some people actually think that they can buy a car in a different state with zero sales tax and avoid paying sales tax. That's not true. Car purchases don't work like that. You should pay the sales tax to the state where you live and will register the vehicle, not to the state where you bought the vehicle. If you buy it from a dealer, generally, you will pay the dealer for your sales tax for your state and they will remit it for you to your state. However, dealers sometimes mistakenly tax out-of-state buyers at the same rate as if they're in that state. So if you plan to buy from an out-of-state dealer, double check that your tax rate is correct and that they are made aware that a check has to be mailed to your home state. Sometimes they can also forget to collect any local sales tax for your jurisdiction. In any case, if the dealer does not collect any of the taxes owed, you must make up for the taxes in your state when you register the car. If you're buying from an out-of-state private party seller, you'll just pay the taxes yourself when you register. A bonus tip, even if you don't plan to buy the vehicle you're interested in locally, drive it before you jump through all these hoops for an out-of-state purchase. To settle your sales tax obligation yourself, you could get help from a local dealer you trust or a tax professional or even your local department of motor vehicles, the DMV office. There are plenty of resources to help guide you through your payment of this sales tax. Number four, obtaining required safety and emission test results. Your state's Department of Motor Vehicles, DMV office, can provide information on the required inspection tests for your new car. Depending on state law, this can include the odometer, emissions, and or safety testing. After your vehicle has been inspected, visit the DMV office with the inspection certification, your sales paperwork, photo ID, and proof of address. These documents will allow you to register the vehicle and obtain the title. Number five, registering the car. You may need a temporary registration card from the state where you purchased the car if you plan to drive it back home. You can also get a three-day pass from your home state to make this trip. Make sure you have all the applicable paperwork when you do this, such as the buyer's agreement to show the selling price and evidence that sales tax was collected if the dealer collected them for your state. Failure to do this can result in you paying sales tax twice. Number six, insuring the car. You wanna make sure your vehicle is insured at the time you pick it up. The provisions of your current auto insurance policy determines whether you have to have insurance coverage on a new vehicle before you buy it or after. Some companies cover new vehicle purchases for a specific amount of time, even before you add the vehicle to the policy. If your policy doesn't include this provision, however, you'll have to get coverage right away. In addition, if you're taking out a loan to purchase the car, the lender may have specific insurance requirements that must be in place before the loan is funded. Always remember to get an insurance quote on any car you're planning on buying from your existing insurance company. Make sure you're familiar with the insurance laws in your state so that you meet the minimum coverage standards. For those of you who believe your insurance company has a provision to insure any additional car purchases you make, take the value of the new car into consideration. If the new vehicle is worth a much higher amount than the current car on your policy, you'll have to have a new policy in place before you take possession of your new ride. Number seven, obtaining the title. Make sure you find out what the time limit is for registering the out-of-state car for your state. In most cases, the timeline is 30 days before you risk paying late fees. 
Sometimes the out-of-state dealer will help you with this and help you complete the out-of-state registration paperwork. You may also be required to complete a VIN verification form to help your home state ensure that this car isn't stolen property. If the vehicle has a salvage or other type of non-standard title, check in your own state before finalizing the purchase. The cost of the title and the amount of time you have to get the title also varies by state. Coming up soon, our attorney friend, Dan Whitney from the Whitney Law Firm in Maryland, will join us to talk about two client cases he had that involved out-of-state car purchase that didn't turn out well for the clients. So before you run off to make a car purchase out-of-state, Make sure you see this upcoming video with Dan Whitney. He also has a current case in litigation right now that he'll share with us. As a reminder, if you seek an attorney's help with an issue with a car dealership, meaning fraudulent business practices, you may get assistance from the Federal Trade Commission. The Consumer Protection Act generally has a provision that provides for the prevailing party to recover their attorney fees and costs of bringing the suit. So do your homework, get everything in writing, keep all your paperwork and payment history, and best of luck to you all. We also have some reaction videos to Dan Whitney, so let's show them on the screen here. He's a very smart guy and presents his client experiences on his YouTube channel to help others navigate the car business. Make sure you give the Whitney Law Firm channel a like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. If you're subscribed to this channel, you'll see Dan join us to discuss the risks of buying a car out of state. It'll be everything you need to know and look for. I want to express a heartfelt appreciation to those of you who have asked, how can you contribute to my medical expenses. As you might have guessed, my household is swimming in medical bills right now. For your convenience, our staff has put the PayPal and Cash App links in the description box down below. And right now, 100% of donations from viewers are going toward Kevin's medical expenses. All right, if you appreciate our video today, consider giving us a great big thumbs up. Always remember to comment on our videos and share with family and friends. Comments really matter because they help boost our online visibility and lead others to great Homework Guy content. The entire Homework Guy team is here to represent you, the car buyer, and that's what we love to do. Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.